know, free riding's core was really all about adventuring and exploring new places. This line's gonna be sick, dude. The pioneers are always gonna be looked at as kooks. You know, you don't know until later, until society has been able to digest it, how rad that was. The most motley crew of blue-collared kids found a sport that, like, suited them. Life's too short not to go big. People were looking at us like we were fucking weirdos. Did you get that on film? <laughs> that was the start of something different. I want to make the best mountain bike film ever made. Fame and fortune over integrity. I made it my mission, no matter what, to just keep crushing those guys. That rivalry, that fueled free ride mountain bike. Oh, 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 oh. The industry was all into racing and they didn't know what to do with those guys. We put them in a cage and see who's down in. Three, two, one. Slope style becomes the biggest of the biggest. That's happening all across the world. Made for industry type events where they're like, oh, we can put logos on all this stuff. This is perfect. The free got kind of ripped out of free riding. We wanted to regulate it a little bit to commercialize it better. Now I'm a contest rider, I'm doing the circuit. The competition got more serious. You have a very small window in the sport. You better capitalize on it. The riding at the highest level is heavy duty risk. One for Cam Zink. I am tapping out. Like, this is too much. Now it doesn't matter how good you are. It's about your numbers. They're risking everything for nothing. For the gram. And to watch him go through that was <sighs> devastating. Pursuit for finding something new will never end, though. It's coming full circle now. Taking it back to the roots. Dropping into the unknown, you know? Plus, what are the best parts about it?